partly cloudy skies across southeast Texas. You can see that on our camera right here from the 12 News Studio. The camera sponsored by Exceptional Emergency Center, part of the Roofing 911 Live Skycam Network. Been dry here in Beaumont for uh, this morning. Temperatures starting to climb. We're going to get up right around 90 degrees, it looks like today. Still have some showers out there. We'll show you that on radar. Right now, we're looking at about 87 in Beaumont and Port Arthur, 85 in Orange, and then Silsby, Kirbyville, Jasper, Woodville, all the lakes area, right around 86 degrees here at the lunch hour. Switch over to radar. You can see very spotty showers along the coast. A couple of those actually made their way up into parts of Hardin County. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit and you can see some of the heavier downpours down in southern parts of Jefferson County. Uh, another heavy downpour right there south of Winnie and you also run into a little bit of rain it looks like along I-10 just to the west of Winnie. So not much right now and we're not expecting a whole lot through the afternoon about a 30 40 percent coverage. So uh, a little bit drier air out there means a little bit less in the way of rain and we'll see this type of weather I think through Friday before we start to see rain chances really ramp up as we get into the holiday weekend. But you can see uh, a few spotty showers here and there. Nothing too widespread as we go through the afternoon. Better chance of seeing some scattered showers here in the triangle than up into the lakes area for later on this afternoon. A wide picture still shows scattered rain across most of the deep south. You can see spotty showers through parts of Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, some spotty rain up through parts of uh, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, along the Gulf Coast. We're seeing scattered showers once again today, like we've seen the last few days. We just have to be in a little bit of drier spot for today as we see a little less moisture out there. Future cash way overdoing it at one o'clock, but we'll see some spotty showers uh, through the afternoon. Like I said, maybe a 40% coverage as highs get up near 90. Fall back into the 70s late this evening. Overnight, just partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, I think once again, We'll see low rain chances through uh, the lunch hour. And then as we get into the afternoon, maybe about a 30% chance of a couple of showers tomorrow. So rain chances even a little bit lower, I think, as we head into Thursday. Been watching the Atlantic. We have a couple of things we're looking at. One is this little disturbance getting ready to come into the Caribbean. It has a very low chance of development over the next five days, 10%. It's that secondary one that we're looking at that could move in and create some problems up through the Caribbean. Eventually, maybe the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have to wait and see. It's several days out from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, as we look at satellite, here's that first disturbance. Doesn't look too healthy there. It's kind of small, and then this one's a little bit bigger, and you can actually see a little, maybe a little bit of spin there with this one. Uh, like they're expecting this to develop in maybe a tropical depression over the next couple of days to about five days. So two to five days, maybe something there. Like I said, though, it's still way, way out there. So we have lots of time to watch it. Along the coast, water temperature at 83. East winds at 5 to 10 knots. We'll see some 2 to 4 feet. Mostly smooth on the inland lakes and bays. Few showers possible along the coast. Next high tides at 9.01 this evening. Scattered rain, maybe a few thunderstorms this afternoon. 30-40% coverage with highs sitting close to 90 today. And then for tonight, back down into the middle to upper 70s here in the triangle and some lower 70s towards the lakes with maybe an isolated coastal shower overnight. That's about it. Rain chances stay around 30-40% through Friday. That means highs will be up around 90. Here comes the weekend. 70% coverage of scattered showers and thunderstorms for the holiday weekend, including the 4th of July. Hopefully most of those will die down before we get too late in the evening on Sunday. And we keep that 70% going through Monday and Tuesday of next week. Oh, that rain, man. It just does not want to go away. I know. We could use a good drying out period, maybe a week of some dry weather, but that would also mean very hot temperatures. So... I don't know. I think I'd probably take the hot temperatures. At this That's point. true. You know, yeah. July 1st is tomorrow. So we, yeah. we're getting to the very, very hot of, uh, of yeah. the year here. July so gonna, and August. Yep. Yeah, it's going to heat up pretty mm -hmm. soon here. All right. We appreciate that.